Hello friends, welcome back to Dave the Dev's Game Dev Tutorials. It's been a while since the last video because I've been busy participating in the Community Game Jam. If you'd like to take a look and see what I made for the jam, you can follow the link below. But that's not why we're here. In this video, I'll show you how to make your games better by using a customized mouse cursor in Godot. So let's get to it. Theming a user's experience with your game is exceptionally important. If a player has to look at this, it might break the experience you're trying to convey in their mind. So I'll show you how you can go about simply changing the mouse icon, or if you need a bit more, how you can create dynamic mouse cursors that even react and change with gameplay. If you only need to change the cursor icon, here's a quick and simple method to do that. First I'm going to create and save a new scene for us to experiment with. Then I'll add an image that I want to use as a mouse cursor to the Godot project folder. This is what our scene looks like by default before applying our new cursor icon. To set our new image as a cursor, click on Project up top in the main menu, and head to Project Settings. In the Project Settings window, Find Mouse Cursor under the Display Settings, and then simply set the custom image to the image of your choice. Now when we run our demo scene, our mouse cursor has been changed to our selected image. When using this method, keep in mind that images with sizes above 256 by 256 pixels won't work. Now, if you need something a bit more complicated than simply changing the cursor, you can, in fact, make a mouse cursor from any scene that has a root node derived from a canvas item node. This basically means a mouse cursor can be made from control nodes or a node 2D node, including sprites, animated sprites, texture recs, or even a video player. To show you how this can be done, I'll make and save a new scene using nodes derived from the canvas item object. And I'll add a script to the root node. Under the ready function, type input set mouse mode and pass the function input mouse mode hidden. This code will hide the default mouse cursor while it's in our game window. Next, under this node's process function, type self.position equals self.get global mouse position. It's probably pretty obvious, but this line of code sets the position of this node to the position of the mouse cursor once every frame when it's in our game window. I'm going to add a sprite node to the scene root and then populate the sprite node's texture property with our mouse cursor image. Finally, let's give this a quick test. By creating and saving mouse cursors in this way, you can simply drag and drop them into other game scenes. And you're not just stuck with a static image, you can use this as a base to build more dynamic mouse cursors. Here's an example scene doing just that. Depending on which side of the game window the mouse is currently hovering over, the cursor icon changes between white and black spheres. But the possibilities are virtually endless, only limited by your own needs and imagination. For example, you could animate the cursor using animated sprites or animation players. You could use a Particle 2D node as a cursor, or maybe even attach an Audio Stream Player 2D and change the source of a sound effect or music as the mouse moves through your game. In my latest game, Welcome to the Afterlife, made for the Community Game Jam, I used a rotating sprite as my mouse cursor. If you want to check out how I did it, there are links in the description below to the Dave the Dev GitHub page where you can download it and the example projects in this video. 
I also made extensive use of the curve resource in my new game to control the chance of enemies spawning. If you want to learn how to use the curve resource too, check out my previous tutorial on the subject. Well that'll do for this video. If you learned something cool, consider hitting the like button, and if I've earned it, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be a part of this growing game dev community. Hope to see you in the next video. Until then, see how crazy you can make those mouse cursors.